Good morning, Knicks Nation. Today is Friday, the 15th day of December 2023. I hope you're safe and healthy today and your family's safe and healthy and that the needs of you and your family in terms of food, shelter, clothing, as well as health being met today. Happy Friday. Blessings upon those that work in the healthcare field, along with the first responders who every day are out here trying to comfort those that are sick and saving lives. Blessings also upon those that pick up garbage for us to keep our streets, sidewalks, and cities and villages clean and disease-free. And those that make deliveries for our convenience. Double blessings on the men and women out here trying to help rescue, deliver, and recover. Teenagers and children, victims of child molestation and pedophilia. Victims also of prostitution and child prostitution, pornography, child pornography, human trafficking, sex slavery, double curses, double curses on the perpetrators of these things, those who profit from these things, and the perverts that create this industry. Finally, double blessings upon those who are homeless. There are nearly 600,000 men, women, and children living in the streets of the United States of America and millions around the world in similar or worse conditions. May blessings be upon them. For theirs is the kingdom. There's a basketball game scheduled tonight. The New York Knicks are in Phoenix, Arizona to take on the Phoenix Suns. Now, with this in mind, the New York Knicks right now are sitting in the fifth seed in the East. Actually, let me just take a look. The sixth seed, I'm sorry. They're a half game behind the Indiana Pacers who are in the fifth seed. The Knicks are in the sixth seed, tied with Miami. Uh, actually, they're percentage points ahead of Miami for the sixth seed. Miami's in the seventh seed. What's been going on is that a lot of the teams that are vying for the playoff position in the East, it's just recently there's a group that have been losing and there's a group that's been winning. So, for example, Cleveland has lost three straight. The, last, the Nets have lost the last time and Miami lost last night to Chicago in Miami. New York, of course, we know lost to Utah. Indiana lost. Now, in the last 10, in the last 10, Cleveland is 5-5. Five and five. The Nets are 7-3, and three, so they're the hottest ones in this group. Um, the Miami Heat is 4-6. and six. The Knicks are 5-5 five and five in their last 10, and we expected them to try to hold water with Mitch Robb out, so a 500 record what we would expect. And then Indiana is 6-4 and four in their last 10. Now, the top of the East... Boston is 7 and 3, won 3 straight. Milwaukee is 7 and 3 in their last 10, won 2 straight. Orlando is 8 and 2 in their last 10, won 2 straight. Philly is 6 and 4, having won 4 straight. So those are the top of the East. And pretty much um, Orlando and Philly are tied for third. Uh, Milwaukee is solidly in the second seed, and Boston is in the top seed. So this is still a dogfight, but at this point, uh, this is the most recent iteration. And again, you're going to expect this through the whole season. Um, honestly, I know Orlando is better than even I thought. I thought they were going to be pretty good, but I didn't think they were going to be this good. And I'll be quite honest, I'll be surprised if they may be able to maintain this throughout the rest of the 82-game schedule. But they do look like a playoff team right now. So, uh, But I said that to say this. Uh, the Knicks are not done. You know, this is going to be tough. But this is the league. You got to play tough. Okay. So they lost to Utah the other night. Low energy, as we saw. Part of the low energy was reflected in their shooting, which was horrible. It wasn't that they're that bad of a shooting team. They seem to lose some energy. Tired. It's ebb and flow to the season. Most people don't understand that. It's a long season. Part of being in the league is that it's an 82 game grunt. Okay. And I still get a lot of people that don't understand that. That's, this is not high school where you play 20, 30 games. It's not college where you play like 30 games. This is the league, and it's 82 games. Okay, There's no other league on earth that plays like that. And so it's not just the skill level. It's not just the rotations. It's a grind. Okay, And that's why with Tom Thibodeau, he coaches the team. He coaches to the style of the grind, which is why people get thrown off. Of course, the mindless ones that are Twitter followers, they get thrown off and they start looking at short term. You got to look longer term. This is a grind. And the team that's the toughest in the grind will show up at the end. That's what we're looking for from our Knicks. So right now, we're dealing without Mitchell Robinson, who we know is going to be out until at least February. And we know we're dealing with the tandem of Jericho Sims, followed by Isaiah Hartenstein, I feel like that's going to be fine. We know we now got Mob Deep on a new level with Q-Dog. Q-Dog was just not having the energy the other night. 
Hopefully, I'm very confident that him, quickly, they're going to find the rhythm very shortly. Don't expect a couple of bad games in a row from them or from R.J. Barrett, who had a horrible game the other night as well. I feel like all of them were fatigued. It's just like that. You're going to go through an ebb and flow. You're going to have some games where you're fatigued. Then you're going to have games where you come out like gangbusters. Every team in the league does that. Okay, and so the Knicks are now fighting. They grind it. Let's see if we can grind out a win in Phoenix. It's going to be tough, but I think we could do it. The Knicks are 13 and 10 right now. Um, they still doing pretty well being six seed right now after, you know, having such a tough couple of games. They doing pretty well. So let's see if they can grind out a win right now. Phoenix mm -hmm. and Phoenix is deceiving because right now Phoenix is the 10th seed. They're 13 and 11. They're five and five in their last 10. They lost one their last game. Um, but they're getting back KD. They already got back Beal. And of course, they got Booker. This is a lot like the Brooklyn Nets when they had when they had KD, they had Kyrie, and then they got James Harden. It seemed like uh, you know, they never could get on the court together. Well, that's the same thing we got here with KD with Bradley Beal with Devin Booker. But I'm expecting all three of them to be available Friday. Um, I ain't worried. They're very talented, very tough. There's no doubt about it. And Phoenix has got a better bench than I thought they were going to have. Um, and some of the moves they made. So uh, it's not going to be an easy game. Just don't expect it to be an easy game. Even if KD is out with Booker and Bill, don't expect this to be an easy game. I'm expecting, though, the Knicks to show up as they always do. Every game, win or lose. Tom Thibodeau's Knicks shows up, and they come to fight, and they're going to fight 48. So that's going to be the case. Good news now. Juju has been in his bag for about a week now. You know, he's been he's been showing up for about a week now. I'm expecting that to continue. I'm expecting Juju to remain in his bag, continue doing his thing. Um, the only person on the injury report right now is Mitch Robb, so that's good. Uh, I'm expecting him to continue. I'm looking for a bounce back game from Jalen Brunson. To me, either he needs to just sit because this is a back to back. They got Phoenix tonight and they got Clippers tomorrow. So it'll be a good game if he just decide to sit and rest himself. You know, part of Jalen Brunson's character is that he's a leader. He's a natural leader. And he's a captain type guy. I don't know if the Knicks have officially made him a captain. They should. He's a captain type leader. But he's always ready to go to battle. Even when he's got one leg or his shoulders hurt or his hand is hurt, he's always ready to go to battle. Now, that's a tremendous uh, character trait to have. But you could hurt the team if you, you know, throwing up 0 for 5 from 3. And we're looking for you to hit at least 3. For, you know, we need those points. I'd rather start quick if he's ready. And then bring Deuce up into the rotation. We got the back. We got his back. They can handle this for tonight. But if Jalen is feeling better, if he's ready to go, and we get a usually Jalen Brunson game with Juju already in his bag, and then we had a nice game from Dante the other day, both sides of the basketball, shot the ball well. Um, to me, the thing is that we got Dante and we got Grimes. See, people be pitting them against each other because that's what some people do in New York. But they're both on our team. So if one is off and one is on, then we got somebody going all the time. And that's good. So with that, with heart, I'm looking for a bounce back game in terms of energy level. If Juju continues to be in his bag and I don't see nobody, I don't care if it's, if it's KD, if it's Bill, whoever it is. I don't see nobody stopping Juju from getting into his bag if he's on that trip right now. So that's coming. And then let's see if we can get some, some ancillary backup. Can can Jalen be Jalen? Can Dante come off? Can Grimes bring the energy to Mob Deep like he's been doing for two out of the last three games? Can IQ come out like he's been doing? If we can get this, we got a good shot tonight. So again, first game of a back-to-back, back-to-back of backbreakers. Let's see what we can do tonight, get this W, and see if we can, you know, do some good stuff on the road. Y'all enjoy your weekend, enjoy your Friday. Please be safe out there in this holiday season.